Day number eight. Oh, another beautiful morning out, so can't beat this. Anyway, slept really good at that little stealth site last night. No issues at all. It was pretty cool this morning when I got up there. I had I put actually put my fleece on for a few minutes. So. Anyways, today we've got 10 miles to the first water source. And then I'd really like to make it to that Burrow Mountain campground, I think it's called. But that'd be like a 21 mile day. But we'll see what happens. We may not have any choice depending on the, depending on the water situation. So, but we got an early start, so we got plenty of time to get there. Not concerned about it at all. So, anyways, yeah, we're gonna wander on down the trail and see what we can get done today. Another windmill water source, but apparently this one's dry according to the comments on my gut hooks app. I'm not going to go down there and double check. It's a little bit off trail, not far, but trouble is if I went down in there and saw there was water, then I'd be irritated. So <laughs> Why would I do that to myself, right? I got plenty of water. So. <laughs> Getting some elevation gain today. Whew which is kind of nice in a way. We're starting to get a lot more trees. It's a lot more shade. Cooler too. So, uh, of course the hiking part's a little bit more difficult, but that's all right. I'll take it. The, having trees around is awful nice. Uh, at least the path is, isn't that loose sand, at least not at the moment, knock on wood. <laughs> so that makes it a lot better. Anyways, onward and upward. Hey, I just stopped and had to tape up my little toe. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know why that blister won't heal up. But certainly nothing major, just irritating. Kind of like having a pebble in your shoe or something like that. But like I say, nothing major. Oh God, there was a guy last night. A couple other people camped nearby. And I went and chatted with him for a few minutes. But boy, his feet are tore up. He's actually going to get off trail as soon as he can and get a ride to Silver City and get some different shoes and take a week off to get healed up. Because, oh God, I've never seen blisters so bad. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of them, especially when I was in the Army. But yeah, both feet, big old blisters everywhere. Felt bad for the guy. <laughs> Jesus. But, so I don't have anything to complain about, that's for sure. One little blister on my pinky toe. The one on my big toe healed up pretty good on my day off. That's not bothering at all. This one will eventually, I'm sure. crap we're actually walking through a little wooded area <laughs> uh, this is a nice change of pace enjoy this while it lasts We've had some beautiful walking here the last couple miles, either flat or slightly downhill. 
seems nice here. It's had a fair amount of climbing first thing this morning. We certainly got more coming up later on today, but we're going to enjoy this while it lasts, that's for sure. Nice and shady here. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Check it out, we got some trail magic here. <laughs> As happy with a thumbs up. Well, that was cool, got some trail magic there. She had cold sodas and water if needed it, but I had enough water to get me to the solar well, so I left that alone, left it for other hikers if needed. So. But I did grab a soda, that tasted real good. So. Totally unexpected. <laughs> absolutely beautiful here very very nice yeah we made it to the water source so, a little ways off trail but not bad uh, well plenty of water a few floaties but hey that's all right could be a lot worse that's for sure that'll filter out fine so anyways we're gonna sit here for a while get a bunch of water uh, probably have some lunch and then continue on. Well, just starting our 1500 foot climb here. Of course, the clouds went away and the sun came out in full force as, just as us getting ready to start this climb. But that's okay, we'll take our time. It's only, it's not even two o'clock yet. I don't know what we got left now, maybe six miles or something like that. So, not an issue. Got plenty of time to get there. Although their store apparently closes at 5. I don't know if we'll make it to that or not, but that's all right. Not a big deal. I don't really need anything anyways. So, anyways. Whew, moving forward. Actually, I probably wouldn't even bother going down to that campground if it wasn't for the water situation. So, uh, but That's okay. We'll get there and enjoy the evening. Whew. 1500 foot climb towards the end of the day is never fun. <laughs> We're gaining though, starting to get some really nice views back there. So. Oh, thank God, there's the gate. <laughs> Made it to the summit. We're up a little over 8,000 feet now. Uh, now we just got like just under two miles of downhill, so. Thank goodness. <laughs> I've had about enough for one day. There, we're on the trail to get to the Burrow Mountain Campground where we'll be spending tonight. Fortunately, it's about a mile off trail, <laughs> but they have water, so that's the selling point right there. Uh, hopefully this is the trail. It's a little overgrown and stuff, but it's all right. It's gotta be it. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be, but I don't know where else it would be. So we'll get there eventually anyways. Anyways, 
Yeah, today was a good day overall. This morning, I really enjoyed that walk through the woods and stuff. That was real pretty. This afternoon was a little rougher, but hey, we survived. <laughs> I'm not sure what the total mileage was today, right around 21 or something like that. So, close enough. So, anyways, thanks once again, guys, for watching, following along, and commenting. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow.